Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot scope. I'm Katie, I'm a professional intuitive tarot card reader. If you do have any personal questions that you need answered, then you can book a private reading with me. My website is katietarot.com. Okay, so Aquarius, this reading is for the 6th of November through to the 12th of November 2017. And it is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Aquarius, let's see what's in store for you this week and the energies around you. Monday and Tuesday's energies, we start with the Two of Cups. Now this is a really beautiful card because it means you and another person or a situation or a thing is coming together in harmony. And so there is desire there and there is passion there as well, as well as heartfelt connection. So if this is your love life, then it's looking good this week. It's definitely starting out very positive in the week. And if this is another area of your life, then it means that you will achieve uh, communion with this person or greater understanding of a situation that's going to benefit you. We have the moon. So you are quite in touch with your inner self, your higher self, your intuition and things like that. There could be a Pisces in the picture as well for you. Um, I feel that this could also mean that you have come out of a darker situation that you may not have had all of the information or the facts about something and now it's really cleared up and you're able to move forward in a much more positive way with a clear mind understanding what's happening in this in this scenario and we have the devil so there is a Capricorn that might be um, involved as well um, and this speaks to there could be something going on in a love relationship or in a situation with another person that you have felt entrapped by you have felt that things are not they're just not good you know you you could be um, dealing with a codependent relationship here for some of you um, even though I do feel you are in touch with your intuition and your higher self there is now an element here with the devil coming in that you might not be able to see. Some of you definitely are seeing clearer about this, but a lot of you with this devil card here saying that you're not and that you are still entrapped in this. This week is about working your way out of that. And we have the hermit. Um, a Virgo could also be in this situation. And this is about... Going within, well, you know, we have a lot of intuitive, deep reflection going on here about a relationship, person or situation that has been entrapping you or feeling like you are not, you're giving away too much of your power. So this is where you're at early on in the week. Let's have a look midweek for you. We've got the nine of wands and this speaks to being hurt in the past potentially and Maybe you thought things were going to improve, but uh, you're seeing the situation now for what it is and it's not changing, but you are standing your grounds, you are standing strong and you are going to fight this out if it, if it comes to that. You're not going to back down, that's for sure. And we have the six of cups and this speaks to something has happened in your past, something is going on here that involves someone from your past, maybe an ex or maybe um, someone that you have known that you grew up with. Maybe you'll, you'll hear from them or something. But I am feeling this person or this situation has entrapped you somehow. You go, there's going to be some deep reflection this week about how you can become more harmonious with this person or situation or thing or go your separate ways. And we have the Six of Swords and this does speak to some of you may be thinking about going your separate ways. And for others it may mean that your mental state is a lot calmer and you know that you're heading in the right direction. So there is a sense of purpose and certainty about this as well. I also feel some of you may be getting help from someone in your past in you know, to deal with this situation. Someone might be coming in there. Um, but whatever this... Uh, card represents for you it means that you're moving from something that was causing you stress you're moving away from that and you're a lot calmer going into the future definitely till the end of the week here 
and we have the page of pentacles you're moving into a newness a new material thing or a new love relationship or or there's a potential here for more income more money to come through so a new job potentially for you as well and this is what you're heading towards you're heading towards this newness and this understanding that that's going to be gained from this deep reflection this is where you're headed this is this is the calmness and the the real manifest benefit that you're going to get because you can manifest a change here and it looks like you are going to be contemplating thinking how you're going to go about doing that we have the queen of wands and this is the weekend so this is friday saturday and sunday for you so this is about um, your home life and about being able to multitask it's about being warm and friendly with the people around you so whatever this situation is, you're going to have a good home life. You're going to have a good sense of self. If this is in your home life, then you do have some friends or you've got people around you that are very close, like family, that are there to help you. And this could be where the Six of Cups energy is coming in. People from your past, close family members maybe, or close friends that feel like family, they're going to assist you with this. Now, there's also a feeling here of being um, even a little bit enthusiastic about what you're going to be able to create out of this situation so there is a sense of being able to change it and um, manipulate it even into what you want so that's a really good thing um, it's not out of your control you may have perceived it to be after this reflection you'll realize that you can change it and we have the ace of pentacles so this is this new wonderful thing that is just at the start of creation right now that you want to bring in that you want to manifest so what is this for you it's going to be different for everybody um, this is a general reading so whatever this is it's a very positive thing it's a real thing manifest thing so more money better health um, more friends a better work environment um, more financial stability all those good things there what is this thing maybe it's one thing that you are that you want to change that you want to come closer to you that you're aiming for that's within your grasp and we have the seven of pentacles it might not be the right time to move just now but it is going to be coming to you soon and you will know when that time is right um, I do feel this week it's about contemplation and getting uh, your thoughts in order so you're able to see in the future when you'll be able to start this process of change. And we have the Page of Cups and you know this is going to be a new emotional start for you as well. You have a lot of joy in your heart, a lot of creativity in your heart and you have a lot of um, spirituality as well I sense for a lot of you. So this open heartedness is going to go a long way so i can see that this um person place or situation in your life has not had and will not have a long lasting effect on you even though it may have been traumatic for you it may have been difficult for you you're going to be okay your heart center is still going to be able to be open and you will be accepting um, be able to accept love in the future into your heart if this is a relationship thing for you let's have a look at the advice card for you for the week and we have the nine of cups i'm seeing a lot of you being very independent for a while this may be a breakup from a relationship or time apart from something that you are emotionally invested in whatever that is for you and you will be independent this week and you'll be thinking independently as well. So people's um, ideas and beliefs about things, other people's, not going to affect you so much this week, which is good because you need a clear mind, tapping into the Six of Swords energy, a clear mind and a clear heart to get through this situation, which I feel you're going to do this week. It's not going to be... Um, it's not going to be difficult for you, okay? The situation in general might be... You might consider it to be challenging, but this is something you can overcome for sure. So that's why you'll be focusing on mainly this week. There is some good things happening here. There is some good energy coming in over the next few weeks into the future. And you're going to be changing something this week 
to improve your emotional stability and uh, get get clear the air you know get things out into the open and I feel this um, you you're trying to manifest something as well which is um, which is going to benefit you in the future as well so that's what's happening this week so the nine of cups as an advice card is stay strong emotionally um, don't be afraid to uh, feel your intuitive things uh, whatever's happening internally whatever you feel from spirit don't be afraid to tap into that this week guys so that is the reading this week if you like the content please subscribe to my channel um, until next time bye for now